What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Wrench. On today's show, we are going to take this gnarly black window trim and turn it into this nice, polished, almost fully polished window trim. If all goes well. So while I wait for the car to come back from paint, I have a few things I can do on the car. There's a ton of things I can't do until I get the car fully back. Uh, but I have a bit of surprise. Yesterday, Costa Mesa Collision painted the interior, frunk, and trunk. And without further ado, I'm going to show you the video that they sent me with no modification. So enjoy the next minute of what this car is gonna look like when it's fully painted. So the plan is next Friday, I'm recording this on Saturday, uh, next Friday I go in for the full reveal and I could not be more excited about it. Uh, in the meantime though, I have a bunch of stuff I can do. There's actually a lot I can't do because I need the physical car here. I need to take some measurements off some things. Um, I need to compare the actual paint color so I can get like all of my Cerakote paints set up. I've got a whole bunch of Cerakote to do on the suspension and that kind of thing, but we will cross all of those things off when the car gets here. In the meantime, I've been putting off polishing my window frames. Uh, I want these things to have a nice chrome pop on the car. And frankly, I've never polished aluminum before. I've literally only seen it online. So we're gonna start with this. This is my angle grinder with like a 3M kind of scrubby on it. I'm gonna use that to get the majority of the paint off of the window frames. And then I got a whole like buffing wheel uh, from Harbor Freight, like a big eight inch buffing wheel that I can put on my grinder. And I'm hoping that I can just literally, you know, buff this stuff out until it's super shiny and chrome. And we will have a couple of lovely polished window frames. So let's get into it. All right, well that was a whole bunch of hard work to get the paint stripped off of those things, uh, as you can tell, as evidenced. You know, it's crazy humid here, and yesterday, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but we actually had um, moisture that literally fell out of the sky. Have you seen this? This is like, like you're standing outside and it's wet, which is, I mean, I'm in Southern California, I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, I put the buffing wheel on and I got a few different compounds. It's gonna be really messy. So I'm gonna see if this works. I'm excited uh, to see how this goes. Let's get into it.
All right, screw that. Uh, this thing's too powerful. This grinder is just like a mega grinder going at like, what is it? Almost 4,000 RPM. And I think I just need a variable one that I can run a little slower. Uh, so I'm going to see whatever rotating tool I can put this on. Um, I've got a lot of options, so it's possible I could either do this on a drill. Um, I'm thinking about seeing if I can use my, my buffer, like my actual buffer like I use for a car and see if I can get that thing on there. Otherwise, I can do a um, angle grinder. I can do an angle grinder that's a little more variable speed, but this thing is just gnarly, dude. This is just a gnarly way to, to try to polish um, with this much power. So, so the lesson here is variable speed is your friend when it comes to a bench grinder. This thing's just a big monster ball bearing bench grinder at 4,000 RPM. So flung my piece a couple of times and said, you know what, that is just inviting violence and I don't want more violence in my life. A few moments later. All right, so that didn't work either. So what I'm gonna do, um, I think I need to sand the aluminum first. Like I think I need to get, you know, an 800 grit, 1000 grit, etc., on up until it's to the point where I can polish it because right now it's not polishing out the stuff I want it to. Uh, so I'm gonna see what I have for sandpaper around here and uh, give that a go. Okay. That was a much better situation. Um, Use my air grinder. I used a thousand grit sandpaper actually on my buffer, which I don't need to do. I have an air sander that'll be a lot easier for the next one. Um, and this thing polished up really nicely. Uh, it still has more to go. Like there's a little pitting that I've got to deal with. Um, but like for the most part, it looks really good. Um, I'm going to try, I did the white compound, but I can also use, um, like actual buffing compound, like car buffing compound. And that works well uh, too. So let me get to the bigger pieces now and see if I can get these things polished up. So I've got this thing cleaned up and, and pit free. This was 800 grit sandpaper. And um, there's still a couple of pits hit it a little bit more but um, looks pretty good no polish yet though all right so just one little quick run and I just did this and it's just super polished and shiny so this is gonna be the new method uh, doing 600 to get the major stuff out uh, 800 if I need to, just to clean it up, and then I can go right to polishing with this little buffer wheel. Sweet. So this is the before, and that's the after. First round is kind of dull compared to the shiny chrome. All right, so now that I have it all worked out, um, it turns out I actually did not need to polish this piece because that was from the previous window frame that had been cut. So I need to do this one and the two uh, big frames. One of them is almost done. I have one that I'd sort of been working on before. Well, I say almost, but it looks like I just did a couple of, couple inches. So I've got a few hours left of polishing. You know, like when you get your bright work done on your car, it costs hundreds of dollars. Um, that's because it's very, very labor intensive. But I feel like I have the move now. 
Uh, my little polishing wheel works like a billion times better. I will actually have to get a real polisher because uh, it just felt unsafe. It was not good, it was going too fast. Uh, but these things came out great. I'm thrilled with how the chrome came out on these. So now I just have to do the rest of it. At any rate, I'm thrilled with uh, how these things came out, like from this sort of dull finish, which I do like, by the way, but I love this shiny polished aluminum as well. And more importantly, now I know how to do it. If I need to polish aluminum, I know how to do it. What I don't know yet is what I'm gonna do about the hardware. So that's still painted black. Um, maybe a little, like if I had a little sandblaster, that would be good. I don't know, I would have to figure that out. Be nice to have this like in zinc, you know? Um, I have a little bit of paint stripper, so I might try that, but I don't know yet. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I will follow up with you guys. You'll certainly see the polished window frames in a future video. Hopefully when the car comes back and I actually have to mount uh, the frames to the doors and get all that stuff together. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Keep on rocking. So stay tuned. Next video is going to be the paint reveal. Are you super stoked? Because I am. Thank you.